Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Peggle and the Peggle Roguelike. Once again, returning to Crucible Level 7, trying to find new combos and synergies that I haven't had before. There's still some major stuff that I would love to touch up on. And let's see, can I actually hit this damn refresh? Will it let me? It does. Very cool. Uh, was it worth it? No. <laughs> I kind of want to actually hit the bomb more than anything else. Yeah, there's some major stuff I'm looking for, and I hope I come across it this video. I've been looking for it for a while. And to start things off, I want to get a Docked Orb. Early heal, nothing wrong with that. Now, to get a lot of the new stuff, I'm going to have to go to question marks. And by new stuff, I mean stuff I haven't gotten to. To get these novelties, I've got to dig through the question marks. And I got a chest. Stones get plus one, plus two. It's pretty good. Well worth my visit. They are now... Three fives? And this is one of them. So, I can flip the chip. Minus two HP or plus a relic. I know what this relic is. And if they haven't changed it, this is going to be one of the single worst decisions I've ever taken. Thankfully, I actually got lucky to get the relic. Usually, I have to flip it like five or six times, losing 10 HP along the way. And I was going to say how... This relic is so bad that even after taking the HP loss, which didn't happen this time, it's still better to press skip on it. But it's also a YouTube video, so I'm going to take the weighted chip. Bottom slots gain multipliers that multiply or negate your shot damage. This is basically just complete randomness, the relic. It takes so much control out of the player and puts it into fate. And okay, I guess I'm going to the left. So there's these little multipliers that show up on the bottom. Oh, and you know what? It actually has been buffed a little bit. Whatever pit your orb falls down, the damage gets multiplied by the amount shown. Sometimes it's really good, like, you know, times two. Sometimes it's bad, like it halves your damage. Sometimes it r it's really bad where it takes away all of your damage, making the shot a complete waste. But to like compensate, they got times twos, so it's totally okay, right? Wrong. The times twos don't make it that much better. Now, thankfully, it only applies to the orb. It does not negate the bombs. And if it did, I would be fuming. But thankfully, that's not the case. That times zero, even though there's just one of them, is just the worst possible feeling in this game. There is no worse feeling than build up a massive da uh, string of damage and then just getting it all taken away. Do I want a crit -a ball, maybe? I mean, they did change it to a 0-4. So I suppose I'm a little curious about the Crit Ball. It already has a 0 built in, so it, clearly it's not that bad if I get the time 0, right? Well, they... Okay, I was gonna say they buffed the chip. So the chip used to be worse than it is now. Instead of two of these times 2s, there used to be two times 0.5s. Which means that three out of five of the pits are just negative. They hurt you. One of them is neutral and only one is positive. Here, well, I got a negative, great. And you might say, well, it's not perfectly random. You can choose where your orb goes, but look at that. I was trying to aim to the right desperately and then I just got time zero all the way on the left anyway. There is less control than you may think. Like I'm setting up a bounce that bounces it to the right. And this time it's working out okay, but then I get a time 0.5 because it happens to be there anyway. You know, and then, you have to realize that the pegs themselves are not going to be evenly distributed. Maps often funnel your pegs in one direction or another. Or they funnel your orbs in one direction or another. And sometimes the majority of pegs are just in a specific spot. So here I want to aim down the middle, which happened to be the best possible play. But sometimes there's no pegs in the middle. And the only place with the pegs is just inviting you to fall into the time zero. That's why the chip is just so terrible. Because really, it is just a random time zero. I don't want to heal right now. I don't need it. Do I think I'll crit? I don't think I'll crit. Let's just hit some pegs. Try to hit a bomb, that'd be nice. I'm just thankful it's not as bad as it used to be. So see, like, all the times twos are over here. I mean, I can get a few pegs, but not an insane amount. And look at this! It ends up going into the middle anyway. Well, now I don't even know how I want to do this. I'll just send it over here in hopes it ends up in the times two and not the times zero. Okay. That's not so bad. Okay, just aim it to the right. If it's over here, I can't get times zero. 
Nice. Still hurts though. I need a damn refresh. I would love to try to aim for the refresh, but that's kind of where the time zero is. Maybe bounce into the bomb. Okay. Very nice. Taking a bit of damage. Let's take this uh, dag orb. Trying to bounce into the refresh. Didn't happen. That's okay though. Okay, this one is very likely to just uh, give me a time zero, but who knows? Maybe it won't. No, nah, it's shaping up to be a time zero. Oh, thank God. Okay, good heal. How about I... I'll go for a stone that's probably a little better on the damage side. There we go. Take an upgrade. Maybe crit of all. Better crit damage. For, hits the... Makes the first orb hit a crit. So far, the chip has not screwed me yet. But I mean, we're also on the first act. It's meant to be easy. Uh, here, it may screw me. Mm, okay, there's a chance I actually hit this crit and fall into times two. This could be really high rolly, actually. <laughs> That's the thing with the chip, right? You get the high highs and the low lows. And let me tell you, the lows are very low. But this was not a low low. That was a high high. So thank you, chip, actually, for not being that shit. And you know what? I'll just gun right for that refresh. Even if I get time zero here, that's fine. But I got a times two. It's worth it. And this is almost certainly going to bring it home. Yeah, 110%. It would take a miracle to get that to be a time zero. All right. So that was cool. Hey, it's the Jack Orb Lantern. Instead of exiting a pegboard, this orb will return to the top of the pegboard one time. Can, will, can target any enemy. Apparently, this has interesting chip synergy. So basically the chip, the way the chip works with the Jack Orb Lantern is that this guy's final fall will be the multiplier. And my guess is that's the only one that matters. Like I think both the Bulldorb and the Sphere are better here, but you know what? I'm going to try this for science. I'm kind of curious to see how this plays out. Ooh, plus one, plus one could be really good. Minus one, plus one's a little too unpredictable. Uh, refresh is hit nearby, pegs one hit. This is a good one, but this one's better for my setup. Now let's just take it to the left. Okay, let's just hope I can avoid the time zero. That's all I can- Oh god. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, lucky bounce. I'm gonna tell you right now, this, uh, this fight, or this relic is just gonna give me a heart attack. You know, times one even feels bad sometimes. And also, shoot at the bats. So those can be ranged, right? Just wipe that out. I'll just hit the crit and move on with my life. Oh, two damage. That's not good. Well, now I got to figure out how to hit a bomb. Maybe I could start with this though. And if I fall into times two, I'm happy. I'm not happy. I'm the opposite of happy. Can I hit a bomb though? I'm just hitting low damage numbers so I can actually kill this. Okay, let's see the funny jack-o-lantern synergy. I'm pretty sure it's only going to count the damage multiplier for its final one. So times two is what applies. Yeah, it doesn't apply both the times 0.5 and times two, just the times two. Neat. Okay, well, anything but times zero. Good. Okay, let's get the hell away from the times zero. Oh, there's my bomb. Well, I think it's smooth sailing here. I'm not taking that much damage. Things are going to be okay. I actually don't know how to play this one properly. Maybe I hit this crit and then see what happens. Oh, yeah, especially if I hit the bomb, things are... No! Feeling good! Ah, oh, time zero, I hate you. Okay, this will certainly not time zero. It also... Yeah, okay, good. I'll just heal the full. And this is the illusion of choice. Whatever I take is just gonna be a chest and a ton of fights. Refreshes the board on every reload. Cool. Uh, this is also the illusion of choice, so maybe I'll blow up a bomb. Oh, whoo, that was a really good one. Okay, just bounce it to the right like this. And hope it stays to the right. Again, keep it to the right. That's fine. Now, I don't know what I want. Maybe to the left, because there's two times twos here. Yeah, all right, nice. This one, I'm gonna... Ah, oh, I hit the refresh here. Let's just bounce it to the left. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, no. Okay, that was not the best left-facing bounce. I have no faith in Dagorb. Let's just take the Jack Orb Lantern and send this. Thankfully, at time zero does not register. I'll take that. That's pretty good. That's a nice one. Let's see if I can get the other bomb here. I'm even okay with time zero if I hit the bomb. Yes! 
That's fine. Because this guy is going to die eventually. Which is anything but time zero. So this should help. Anything but time zero. Close it off. Oh no. Thank you. And an upgrade. So Jackal Blanter on upgrading. It will return to the top of the pegboard two times. Well, that seems fun. This guy is enjoyable. It still remains the illusion of choice. Okay, I think bombs are just as important as going left. Oh no, I'm going to the right and not hitting bombs. Well, I softened up a bomb at least. Okay, good start, good start. Again, I don't even know what I really want. Oh, yikes. Okay, well, keep it in the middle. Gotta blow up these bombs. Just fall in the middle, hit the bombs. Just the, okay. At least I got a kill, that's fine. And detonate some bombs. Just one, okay. I can't touch a guarantee I will hit a crit. Let's just get rid of that. Times two is nice. And this bomb should finish things up. All right, the chip has not been too cruel to me yet. And I want Jack or Blanchard 4-7. Returns to the top of the pegboard three times. That's what I'm talking about. And you know what? Maybe I want some question marks. At least the time zero is easy to avoid on this map. In fact, I might just aim down the center here. There's a lot of pegs. It's probably going to be decent damage. Yeah, times two guaranteed. Why not? I'm not going to crit. I'm aiming to the right where there's only times twos, but unfortunately no crit. This is a gimme. So now, oh, I need to hit a bomb. I have an okay chance of hitting a bomb on this side, but if it, almost guaranteed chance of at least hitting a times two. That doesn't really matter though now, does it? All that kind of matters is the bomb, so I'm actually gonna go Jack Orb Lantern. Gives me the most shots at this bomb. Okay, it's time zero again and again. I hit the bomb, okay. Well, anything can happen now. Although admittedly, that is disappointing. Zero. It's fine, I'll most likely be okay. Let's take the crit ball here. Ah, uh, times 0.5, you hate to see it. Okay, I'm gonna get touched, but it's fine. I'm avoiding that time zero with flying colors. And not taking too much damage here. Oh my Gorb is actually terrible with the chip because this thing is an all in. If I all in, then get time zero, it's lights out. It's run losing. It's not just bad, it's it's give up kind of bad. So I think I'll just heal and then take a question mark, see what this uh, has to offer. Another fight, okay. Well, you know what, I am critting. Am I avoiding the time zero though? Looks like, no, it's just beelined right towards it. How did I know it was gonna happen? How did I know? Well, let's bounce into this bomb and then, well, it'll be falling for a while. Oh. <laughs> Zero again and again and again. Isn't that just great? Isn't that just great where like the most natural shot just leads you right into the time zero? Isn't that just fun? God, I just love the chip. Yeah. Here's the thing, right? In a game with as much variance as this, an item is only wor uh, as good as its worst possible outcome. Because even if I do get the times two, there are just a lot of scenarios where the times two was irrelevant. Not in that scenario, but I mean, I only got plus 24 damage, so it wasn't even that relevant anyway. There's just so many times where the times two maybe wouldn't matter because I was already going to kill an enemy. And then, you know, double killing an enemy doesn't do anything unless if I have overwhammer, which I probably usually will not. Okay. It's shaping up good to not time zero me. Ooh, a refresh. This is a bit baller. Okay, but sometimes the chip does high roll. And you know what? I do like the Jack Orb Lantern with this build. All or nothing is kind of what I have going, but I don't really have many crits. Let's keep Jack Orb Lantern. I think this is quite good. My build likes critting, so I'll take more crits. The chip might be okay here. Um, I mean, I just gotta end up on the left side, which it looks like is happening. Awesome. Although, it's a little wasted damage, if you will. I can do Jack Orb Lantern to attack the mole directly. Because that's what this thing's good at. 
Okay. Ah! You're scaring me. You're scaring me. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's huge, actually. 518. Okay. That's what I like to see. Let's go to the right side. Ugh, it's fine. It's fine. It's still good damage. Okay, things are actually looking really good right now. Maybe some bombs to just finish them off. There's one. And another bomb. Actually, I could probably win right now with Jack Orb Lantern. Just send it to the left. There's not that many pegs here, but... Should be alright. Well, this actually went very smoothly. Although, Jack Orb Lantern kind of carried. Allowing me to bypass the tree. So now... You may have noticed with the Eye of Turtle, I got some interesting choices. Oh, boy. No, this is terrible. I lose all of my refreshes. <laughs> if I take this, I will never refresh the board, except on reloads, which is not worth it. Cursed Mask and Kinetic Meteorite add so much variance with the chip. And getting rid of my orb discards also stinks. I think I'm actually okay with doing this and just making my whole deck be good. Yeah, screw the discards. So, this is actually a pretty tough floor for me. I don't have any AoE, and I have no idea whether I can guarantee to keep an orb on the right. Well, just don't fall in the time zero. The times 0.5 is like the most likely outcome, which kind of blows. I guess this might be my worst possible orb, knowing that I can't at all guarantee a crit. Yeah, this is certainly my worst orb. And again, if I could just... Ugh. Damn it, stop falling down the middle. I'd be so happy. Okay, now the good one's down the middle. So you know what? This time I'm going to take the refresh. I'm very likely to get a times two. So let's just refresh the board for that to happen. Okay, now things are going well. Even times one is fine. Man, too bad I don't have overwhammer, huh? Uh-oh. Wait, now you're going to that side? Okay, it's fine, right? Oh, God, so much wasted damage! That is why the times two just does not fucking matter. Oh, God. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit this refresh and assume that I'm probably not going to end on the right side. Or on the left side. Oh, and it's not like Overwhammer's a thing with this orb, since it's just the single target orb. At least times 0.5 doesn't matter here. But times 2 also doesn't matter. Good god. Alright, let's just try to hit this crit. And then whatever happens, happens. Okay, that happened and it hurt. Like, a lot. Okay, maybe there's a... Oh god. I get a kill at least. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot in here, even though that's where time 0 is. There's a bomb, so this will probably get rid of the issue. No, this was so not worth it. This hurts way too fucking much. Okay, just send me down the middle. I probably should have just aimed for the left side, but there were no pegs there. That's the thing. There were no pegs. So once again, I had to aim where I didn't want to. And it's super overkill. Awesome. And now I just need to heal because I lost way too much HP. This floor is generally nightmarish for me, though. This is just the floor of a billion enemies, and I don't have AoE, so it just sucks to be me. Okay, pretty good chip start so far, though. Can I guarantee I'll avoid that time zero? The answer is no. Oh, god, what a terrible run out. Okay, just keep it to the very right side. That's also where the refresh is. He's looking pretty good. The times two did not matter. There's just so many times where times two does not make a difference so it really feels like the upside for the the chip is a bait and the downside is life ruining mm, and that was i can't believe i got that little damage okay now i gotta like hit a bomb more than anything else or at least the refresh okay whatever at least i gotta kill okay let's start with a good refresh and go from there Surely this will be fine. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Ah, uh, good. Good, good, good. Please don't let me take any more damage. I want this crit, but look at what's on the right side. That time zero. Okay, it's fine. Lucky me. 
Okay, maybe I should take AoE because it's floor two and you kind of need AoE or you're fucked. And honestly, Bold Orb is pretty sick. Ooh, ooh. Enter the passageway for weird navigation or continue. Do I want to just hop over here? I mean, I dodged the elite fight, but I feel okay about an elite fight now. I think I'll just continue. Oh, do I want two elite fights? I don't. Let's go right. Ooh. Flying enemies are attacked horizontally. Unicorn horn. Unicorn horn is what's up. I have no idea how to guarantee it, but I did get it, so lucky me. This does help prevent a little bit of variance with the chip. Okay, this is... This is actually a map where the chip can fuck you extra because more often than not, you're ending on the right side or the left side. So whatever is on the left side is what you're gonna get most of the time. And that kind of blows. But you know what? This time is the time uh, two, so it doesn't blow this time. Although the rest of the time you get uh, the time zero. Okay, well... Clearly, let's not have that happen again. Let's actually get the times one. You're kind of at the mercy, though, of whatever the game decides for you. Actually, this is a terrible map for me. What the fuck? This is a terrible map to have one refresh on, I'll tell you that. At least I finally got some good damage. It took literally forever. I need this refresh, and I can't hit it to save my life. No! It wasn't that good, but still, I hate it. Okay, again, the most likely outcome is time zero right now, which is just abysmal. But the second most likely is times two, so I have to just hope for the best here. Thank the Lord, I needed that. That was huge. All right, most likely outcome is times one. Although I could get a good times two here. Time zero is almost impossible. A little bit more likely now. Oh, okay. Thank God. The, the, the chip giveth and the chip taketh away. Oh, Bold Orb scares me though. I can't skip over Bold Orb when there's only flying enemies. So instead, I'm going to heal. 30 pegs hits, convert it to a bomb. Do higher damage when my health is low. Oh, activated crits also refresh the board. That is huge. I now have a ton of refreshes. Okay, so now I wouldn't mind a boss relic that gets rid of my refresh. Okay, so the only orb that really matters here is the bold orb. It's what it boils down to. Let's bounce like this to get started. Okay. All right. Do I kill this thing? Four. It's got four HP. Well, thankfully this thing does do splash damage. Uh, there's a good chance that I get time zero, but times two is more likely. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, this, this here time zero seems very unlikely. A bit more likely now. Um, very likely, okay, ouch. Sometimes you just can't predict it. And the slow and painful kill is all I can really do. Just a little bit of chip damage here and there. Wow, where I want to shoot just funnels me right into time zero. But you know what? I'm still going to do it anyway because sometimes you just bounce out. Okay, this is where I want to shoot. Time zero is very unlikely. Nice. Match Reorbshka is a nightmare with the chip. But it's also kind of funny because I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the funny outcome. Thing is, when Match Reorbshka splits... And if, you know, it's split orbs, each one goes down a different pit, both the values get multiplied together. And if even one of those is a zero, then you are fucked. But if both of them are like a two, then it's a times four. So it's very high rolly. And I think I've just committed to the high roll at this point. Whatever happens, happens. And it's pretty much the illusion of choice. So again, I'm gonna try to detonate some bombs. Didn't happen, that's okay. Okay, so now I really gotta avoid that time zero. Just aim it over here and hope that neither of them fall down that time zero pit, which is now uh, feeling pretty good about. It. Oh, let's go. Wait, that said times two. Oh no, it was definitely times four. It just said times two because the mirror specializes. 
or it specializes against the mirror. Okay, but this is a map where it kind of just whatever happens, happens. So I felt like I got funneled here. Okay, I need to hit a crit so I can refresh, huh? There we go. Feels likely I'm getting a times one. Oh, well, anything could happen now. Oh, please not times zero. Oh, wait, it keeps falling. I forgot about that. Thank God. Oof. Got him. Can anything but time zero. Oh, he's already dead. Death by refresh. Well, I hope I get to upgrade some orbs now. Oh, this thing is insane. The critiball is incredible. But the Matryoshka is so funny. Listen, I'm gonna actually upgrade my best orb or bold orb. Actually, why don't I spread the love a little? Bold orb can become a very nice stat line. Well, why? Why worry about Matryoshka? Oh, bricks. I can offer stones or run away. <laughs> you know what? Sure, take my stones. I don't care. It's more fun this way. So I'm gonna start this one entirely to the right just to eliminate any chance of getting that times zero. Um, okay. Oh, that's actually really awkward numbers. Eight on the shield. Oh, come on. The times 0.5 was actually just as devastating. Well, if I can hit a bomb, I'm happy, but there's no way. I'll just let it go at this point. Oh, but I guess I do get that life steal. Where am I stealing life? Oh, it's when I'm refreshing. Refill a buster. When the board is refreshed, deal damage to target enemy equal number of peg restored. Insane. Okay, I already have a match Matryorbshka. This time I'm healing. I didn't want another match Matryorbshka anyway. But healing sucks against this final boss. This is like... You gotta one-shot him and that's that. Alright, so here's the question. Do we think I can land in times two twice? Let's find out. So far, it's looking like a times zero. Nah, it's real. Ah, maybe not. Times one. Can I at least get times two in? Yes! Although, I mean, it's just wasted on one of these goons. It's damage is damage. Okay, keep this one down the center. Because that's where the times twos are. Uh, not amazing, but not terrible either. I don't even know what I want to do with this. I think I do want to hit the refresh. And then see just how it falls. Now, what I don't know is whether or not it'll just stay here at the times one. It well, if it bounces to the times zero, I could get a few extra pegs. Okay, now times one. I mean, maybe I should aim this to the right. I mean, times one's cool and all. But I'm sure it could have been better. Okay, I'll bounce this one way over here, as far away from that times zero as possible. And hopefully get in times two. Okay, times 0.5 is more likely by the second. So you hate to see it. That's a lot of damage lost. I desperately need times two now. Okay. Getting a lot of refreshes. I mean, I'm staying away from that time zero, so it's all good. Crits as refresh is just such a wonderful relic though. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. 1610. I feel like this is a good fight to do math for, to find out exactly how much damage, positive or negative, the chip has done for me. Because, like, this feels like a pretty good control fight for that. Let's take a stone and just bounce away over here. Not taking any chances. Because I've been doing pretty good at times twos, and I haven't... I've only times 0.5 to once. <gasps> I will aim in here, in between the two times twos. Can I... Oh, I do hit a crit. Worth it. All right, the wall advances. Let's keep this in between the two and the one. I mean, this is actually a pretty easy uh, map to generally keep your shots in a confined area. Although it has strayed a little bit. It hasn't strayed that far. Okay, once again, on the left side, keep it towards the times twos. I will get multiple pass-throughs, so it might get worse and worse, or it might get better and better. Feeling pretty good about this one. Ooh, feeling extra good about this one. That's almost run winning. And okay, match Ruorpshka. Keep this on the right side. No chances will be taken here. It feels like I'm gonna win. Feels like it. All right. 
Yeah, so that one didn't even matter, the lost damage. Awesome, get to upgrade. Do I dare go multi-ball too? Let's do the fun one, Matriorbshka. It may suck, but it's also fun. Gift that keeps on giving is nuts. Saprasac is okay. I think I just want the gift that keeps on giving. I don't think you can go wrong with this, although I am curious to see if the gift that keeps on giving and everything being durable causes a more forged path in some of the levels, resulting in the chip being funneled. This time, though, you can just hang right. Oh, God. Fuck. The good news is I won't get hurt, right? Yeah, okay. Terrible run out. What was I thinking? Okay, this one should be a little better, I hope. Oh, yeah, I mean... This should be good. Getting all those refreshes, too, which is exactly what you want to see. Okay, don't stray too far now. Doing good where you are. Get that times two and not... Yeah, okay, perfect. Smoked him. Absolutely owned. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Matry Ormshka Multiball 3. It's fun. <laughs> I've gotta see how this pans out. It's gonna be a total clown fiesta. And Jack Orb Lantern's a bit of a clown fiesta of its, of its own, especially when I hit all these refreshes, but all my crits and refreshes are far, far away. Now, thankfully... Um... Pay, or crits do switch spots after each uh, part, but still. Okay, this is times one now, right? Okay. That's good. It normalizes a little bit. Well, I don't even know what I want here. Maybe hang right. That's where times one and times two lie. Ooh, a little lost damage. Just keep hanging out on the right side. Well, even times 0.5 is not a big deal here. Uh, times 2 is just wasted damage, unfortunately. I feel like the odds of me hitting times 0 are actually quite low. At least on the uh, gravity well map. Like, it would need me to fall down from above and then fall into it, but the gravity well would get in the way. I think this is the highest chance for me to hit times 0 right now, with the way things are going. Oh, well, how about that? <laughs> Shit. Uh, it went on a hell of a journey. What are you gonna do? Maybe I could have tried to crowd a little harder towards the left, but this is okay. That's fine. I'm sure this will finish him. Yeah. Wait, no. Gross. Absolutely disgusting. Okay. Please, for the love of God, just don't fall into time zero. Just save me the 10 damage. Thank you. I'll take an upgrade. I like upgrading more than healing. I love Jack Orb Lantern. It's just so much fun. And let's see. Ooh, I can thin to win even further. Goodbye, stone. And send it. Probably want as many question marks as possible. I think I can guarantee I'll go right. Nice. Somehow wasn't that great, though. Okay, this one kind of comes down to... Falling through the middle, so I get a nice second wind. And third wind. Yeah, just keep falling through the middle, and maybe now you could, like, go into time zero. Or at least just keep falling in the middle. Uh, this one's a little scary. Okay, I'm fine. Nice. Keep sending it. You know, the crit fleece would be so good here. There's no way I'm getting it, though. Oh, this is going pretty far right, but the time zero is blocked. So I gotta love that. This time, the time zero is most likely, so... I actually don't even know what the best play is. Clearly not that. I should have done something else, but I don't know what. Just take the damage. Oh, I'm getting times 0.5 for sure. Yeah, this map funnels you hardcore. Okay, bounce to the right. At least I'm gonna get good AoE here. And now, okay, this feels pretty likely that I will avoid that times zero. It would take a miracle to get times zero. So times two, times two, times 0.5, times two. How did it actually end up? Oh, 9,000. Not bad. I am still missing a lot of HP though. What gives? Well, 
I'll take what I can get. Maybe if I'm lucky, I kill. Nope. That hurts. Well, I'm gonna have to heal after this fight. I cannot afford to lose more HP. I think I'd even heal over an upgrade. Oh, but I want to upgrade. <laughs> My upgrades aren't that exciting. It'd just be Bold Orb. Nah, I'll just take the heal. Haglin, huh? Upgrade or remove an orb. I think I will choose to remove my final stone. And then the dag orb will have to go. Maybe the dag orb could have even gone sooner. Oh, I hate this fight right now. If I had healing, I wouldn't hate this fight. But that's not what's reality. So I hate this fight. I just have to snipe a ton of bombs and hope for the best. Although, when it comes to the jack orb lantern, you kind of just gotta throw caution to the wind. There is no guarantees in this place. Yeah, 77 is terrible. This one, I'll just I'll just hook it to the right. Uh-oh. Fuck. Well, that's a ton of ways to damage. Eh, not like it would have been that productive of damage anyway. God, this fight is just so long. You know, there's so many damn enemies, so you gotta like either have a ton of red bombs go- oh, Fuck off. You gotta have a ton of red bombs, or just a lot of good one-shots, and... Oh, this blows. Can at least hang right? Nope. What a terrible run out. Holy fuck, that sucked. I can't guarantee I'll hit a bomb. I'm just gonna bounce around in here, get a bunch of pegs, and hope that... Okay, I did hit a bomb. I'll be safe no matter what. But ideally, times two would be nice, because this is so painful. Okay, at least I got a refresh. What? Are you alive or dead? What the hell is this? What the hell is that? What am I... What? What was happening? Okay. I think I killed something. Why is there a HP bar there? That's weird. Did I kill? That was really weird. Thank god I did not get exploded on. I'm just gonna heal and hope for the best. I don't know if I want question marks anymore either. Because this could just bone me, but I'll take the risk. This whole thing is a total luck shit show. It's too late for this. It's too damn late. I've already committed to the chip build. I'm not removing all orbs. <laughs> I'm just saving that for another time. Get rid of this dag orb. I hate losing HP though. I just need some way to heal. Okay, I guess I'm going to the right. Cool. Uh, damage the slimes, awesome. Damn it, I need a relic that'll heal me. Maybe I should take on the elite fight in hopes to get healing from this. Usually I don't struggle against the elite fight. Please be like the invisible one. This fight can be good for me. I should just take my right side run good, hopefully. Please fall to the right. No, it fell in the middle. At least it's not getting time zero, but times 0.5 is more likely than nothing else. <gasps> oh, maybe though? Maybe? Ooh! Okay, good start, good start. Lucky me. Gotta keep this to the right. Well, now anything could happen. Uh... Uh... <laughs> okay, I guess that could happen. Ooh, this is a big one. Aim this over here. There is... It's pretty unlikely I'm getting time zero. Well, actually, there's a chance. Oh, shit. No! No! Come on. What do I have to do to get it to stay over on that side? That was gonna be so good. And now I just took... I don't even know how much damage. Like, 12 damage? Fuck you, Chip. Um, am I gonna get time zero here? Yeah, of course I am. Oh, wait. No, never mind. But the odds are still pretty good for getting times zero. Maybe times one me? Times one would just be perfect. No, it wouldn't be perfect. Times two would be perfect. Please don't fuck me here. Oh, God. <laughs> Perpetual movement. All right. Oh, it's still going. Uh, times 0.5 would suck. No! Am I gonna kill it anyway? I'm not. Please don't shoot. Uh, it's warming up. 
Um, this is really bad though. Time zero is the most likely outcome, I think. Just aim it over here. Hope I can get anything but time zero. Even times 0.5 is fine by me. Oh, it's still going. Yes, yes, thank God. No more damage taken. Keep healing. Oh, pumpkin pie. Teleport stuff to the top. Oh, but I need healing. I need healing so bad. Cookie basically gives me a full heal. I've heard pumpkin pie has crazy chip synergy, but you guys have to understand, I need healing bad. You know what? You guys are gonna love me for this. I'm gonna take the fun synergy over the safe synergy. The reason why I'm pretty sure this is very fun synergy is because the random slot, allegedly, when you have the chip, is always the one that's time zero. Which is incredible if true. Watch it actually not be true and me just taking YouTube comments at face value fucks me. Well, it's so true so far, which is insane because now it, it takes like very bad luck for me to get time zero. It, it's basically like really good insurance. So let's hope that I don't get fucked here. All right, time zero again. It only went through twice. Okay, just send it down the middle. This is big numbers. Is it 40,000? <laughs> I, I'm probably going to die, but this is by far the most fun way to play. Maybe I'll find some other way to heal, you know? I mean, healing after every fight, if I heal more than damage I take, it's all worth it. So I, I think I'll be okay. I'll at least hopefully make it to the final boss battle. And how often is it that I take chip? I gotta take the fun strategy with the chip. I'm still getting whapped at. I'm gonna target you, of course. And send this. Now I'm curious with Jack Orb Lantern and the time zero. I wonder then if I could get six teleports to the top. I bet I could. But yeah, this would basically be a full heal if I'd taken the uh, cookie. But you know what? I healed more. I'm not going to take Matri Orbshka. Or am I? No, I'm going to heal. I'm just going to heal and heal and heal. Because if I have enough healing for the big fight, I should be fine. Peglin. Oh, upgrade or remove an orb, huh? I could yeet Bold Orb. Yeah, Bold Orb's getting worse and worse, actually. Because we're about to have some nasty flying enemies. So, goodbye. And I don't think AoE is that important because I'm one-shotting everything now. Strange Mirror. Oh, god. I think I duplicate all orbs here. It still gives me the same odds to get Matri Orbshka but it also keeps me far away from a refresh, but refreshes or reloads, and then they don't get big turns. Plus this cost me less HP. Now I've got two level three Machu Orbshkas. And what is this? I lose 16 HP, lose six max HP, or plus three stones and random nav. Well, minus six max HP. This is basically no downside. Yeah, literally no downside. Okay, I got 51 HP going into the final boss fight. We will see. Well, you always have to aim in the same spot on this fight. And then you kind of always fall off in the same spot. Which is generally the right side. Actually, this is a hell of a start. Can I get times two? Maybe not. Okay, times one, pretty good. Knocking him down to half. So let's see though. Will I luck into victory? Yeah, I should just keep targeting the one that's dying for sure. And keep it going. I love the time zero insurance I have. Keep using it. Okay. Times 0.5. Do not get a kill there, unfortunately. That is brutal. Well, I am going to go for the kill now. Whatever it takes. Oh, thank God. Okay, I should have enough damage unless I get times 0.5, which I don't. One enemy down. Okay, Matri Orbshka will almost guaranteed kill. Mm, we'll see. Actually, all those times 0.5 suck! I'm losing all of my damage! What the fuck? 
Oh, am I dead? Oh my god, the times point five is what got me. Uh, no, what got me was the fact that I took pumpkin pie instead of healing. It's obvious. I wanted the fun play. Fuck you, Chip. <laughs> well, that was fun. Now you see why I uh, always act disgusted whenever the Chip shows up. And how I never want to do it again. <laughs> I basically got all the value I wanted out of the chip. So thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.